ladies and gentlemen, Americans are flocking to New Zealand. And this has started not long after COVID-19 began. And, you know, they can't go to Europe. So they now are going to New Zealand. So this is the New York Post, July 30th, 2020. Americans are flocking to New Zealand immigration website amid COVID-19. Thousands of Americans have visited New Zealand's immigration website, hoping to escape and ride out the coronavirus pandemic on the island, with a U.S. citizen visiting the site at a rate of once every 30 seconds. Last month, new data shows more than 250,000 U.S. natives have flocked to the country's official immigration website to investigate whether they qualify to move to the land of sheep and rugby, which boasts low infection and fatality numbers according to the New Zealand Herald. No defense, but if you let a bunch of Americans come there, you will start having a COVID problem immediately within days after they arrive. Trust me, they're going to bring it right there to you. If you want to keep your numbers low, you better get on that ban list and keep them out. So New Zealand has reported just 1,560 reported COVID-19 cases and only 22 deaths, according to the John Hopkins University. Currently, the, com uh, currently the country has just 23 active cases all in managed isolated um, areas, the Herald reported. This compares to almost 4.5 million confirmed infections in the U.S. and more than 150,000 deaths. Last month, 112,800 more Americans visited the immigration New Zealand site compared with the same time last year a 160% spike according to data cited by the Herald. This is the equivalent of one U.S. user click on the site every 30 seconds, the outlet said. Middle-class professional Americans say, well, we do what we go for our own safety and the safety of our family. So they're just saying for safety reasons, they would prefer to be in New Zealand over America. All right, so somebody by the name of Paul Spoonley, he cited a poor public health system and lack of federal leadership in the U.S. amid the pandemic and predicted the number of people immigrating to New Zealand from the states could increase. Oh, it will, it will, because you know what, ladies and gentlemen, if once they realize they can't prosper here anymore, they're gonna move to places like New Zealand. They are, you know, one thing that Americans have is a deep love for money. And if it means they gotta cross the ocean for that potential to work and have a job, that's what they are gonna do. But I would tell New Zealand to proceed with caution, allowing a flood of Americans in there because uh, ultimately they're going to bring COVID with them. They are. And what you may not have now as a problem, you will have once they all arrive with their arrogant behinds. But y'all, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. There's no hiding from the judgment that is coming your way. That's already here. <laughs> There's more to come. New Zealand is not going to be a good escape for you either. But y'all tell me what you think. Peace, family.